and welcome to the demo of Gremlinator. Let's start with a quick introduction of what Gremlinator is. Uh, Gremlinator is the first Sparkle to Gremlin Traversal compiler which is based on the Apache Tinkerpop framework. Using Gremlinator, it is now possible to query property graphs using Sparkle. Uh, using Sparkle, you can now query a wide variety of graph databases which are not only just transaction processors such as Neo4j or OrianDB, but you can also query the analytical processors such as Spark and Hadoop. Now let's see Gremlinator in action. So this is the web page of Gremlinator and here if you want to use it locally on your host machine you can download the desktop version which is a standalone jar bundle and then run it using uh, java space minus jar and the name of the downloaded file. This should start a GUI and then you should be able to access it like you can do on the web. If you want to however use it on the web you can just follow this link and there you have it. For Gremlinator we provide right now two data sets for the demo. One is the Northwind data set which is a famous uh, e-commerce data set in the uh, database community and the other one is the berlin sparkle benchmark 1 million triple data set which is quite famous in the semantic web community and on the right hand side you will find a key to uh, all the types of queries that uh, are currently supported by gremlinator for now we provide a list of 30 queries which can be selected from here and these 30 queries basically cover all or the features of Sparkle 1.0 query fragment. So let's get started and see one of the queries in action. So let's choose the data set Northwin and let's choose the first C1 query which is a simple set of triples without any additional uh, aggregators. So when you click on the execute query you'll be able to see this page where you have the Sparkle query which was executed then you have uh, the Gremlin traversal which was translated using Gremlinator. So this is the traversal that is produced. And then you will be able to see the result after executing uh, the traversal on top of the property graph uh, data set. And below if you have a look you will also find a traversal profile which is basically a detailed description of the performance of this traversal on the data set. So as you can see, it gives you a detailed description of uh, the amount of time spent by each step from the traversal and the overall total number of time spent in executing the entire traversal. So for this query, we have almost 3 milliseconds, which is not that bad. You can, so let's go ahead and try another query. Let's try this time a filter query. Mm, filter 3 and let's execute it. So a filter query is basically where you have one or more uh, restrictions on top of the select variables and as you can see this query is about finding all the products whose unit price is between so and so range. And now as you can see this is the translated traversal and these are the result. So this is the result. Here, here you'll be able to see the product name and the unit price. And our criteria was to specify all, all to list all the products whose unit price is between five and ten. So now let's uh, add one more triple. So if you wanted to uh, play around with this query or write your own query, it would be possible. You could take a reference from uh, any of these. Uh, mm, uh, data set schemas uh, basically so right now we are using Northwind so you can have a look at this and recreate so each box in this is a vertex and it shows the relation or the edge going out from the source vertex to the destination uh, vertex so let's get started and let's say you wanted to also list uh, the units in stock and not just this so you could just add one more triple you could have units in stock and let's call it stock and let's also list that just before the unit price so you can know what is the unit in stock for each of these uh, products and you can re-execute the query and then you will be able to see the new traversal and the overall result so here you can see now you have the result for stock so the product name combo 
which has a, a unit price of less than of six dollars uh, has units in stock equal to 24 now let's try some other query let's try one of the spark uh, the starship queries the starship query is basically it has a starship execution plan and they are less than or equal to uh, or like than or equal to 10 basic graph patterns let's say we have star one and when you execute this query you will be able to see this query so what this query is saying is uh, to list all the details of a specific product uh, that belongs to the category beverages and you want all the details uh, available from the data set of that product so when you execute this query you will have the generated traversal and the overall result so this gives you a list of all the products which are beverages and all their uh, like relevant details you could also uh if you wanted to uh see like instead of beverages you wanted to see some other category let's say like seafood you could type in your own or you could also type a filter as we did like if you wanted to or see only those products whose unit price is let's say greater than 10 then it would be possible and you could also um, let's say change you don't want 10 results let's just have five results instead of 10 and then let's re-execute this query so now you'll be able to see the new query or the edited query that has been executed and now here you would see all the products uh, that are basically seafood so you can see now you have this uh, seaweed and fish which has a unit price which which uh, basically accepts only those values which are greater than 10 so you will find uh, this in perfect coordination with the query and for the starship queries uh, since uh, graph traversals are very fast you can see that for such a complex query uh, with a large number of triple patterns and filters and limits uh, it only took surprisingly less than 20 milliseconds which is one of the most uh, biggest advantage of using graph traversals instead of uh, regular declarative queries or pattern matching queries and if you are interested uh, you can always provide feedback to rate us and to to maybe if you want to collaborate or use this product feel free to give us a feedback this is the team we are working on Combinator uh, and yeah, if you wanted to use it directly in your application, you could find uh, the artifact, the Maven artifact of Combinator, which is already deployed on Maven Central. All you would need to do is just add this dependency into your form file of your Maven project and you should be done. You would be able to access all the methods and functions of Combinator and then create your own application using our product and you can also find all the source code uh, feel free to navigate through the source code and we have a really nice and neat uh, documentation of what gremlin nature does and how you could use it and with a couple of examples which are i believe thorough so thank you very much for watching this demo and yeah see you goodbye